last night, I asked God to tell me if I should just throw all the eggs away or if I should be patient. And he showed me three eggs hatching. So I looked this morning, no eggs hatching. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> yeah. And I see a pit mark. Man, I oh see him. Gosh. I see him in there. You guys can see. Oh man. Because of the glare. There's like this one over here. There's a little pit mark. Oh my gosh. And I see it with with his that little tooth that they get. I see it picking through. Oh, and it's moving, and I heard it chirping. All right, so I dreamed three, but that one. Do you see another? Is it moving? How do you know? Oh, no, there's a bite, a, a peck mark. Oh, problem. I see it, I see it. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. If you missed yesterday's video, then you might not know Whoa. that I said that where we got the eggs from, they, they, <laughs> put the eggs on heat before we got them. Not in an incubator, but they put them like on a heating pad, which can cause problems. But I think we're gonna get three eggs because that's what I dreamed, or at least God was trying to tell me that we're gonna get some eggs. And we see two with little, little, that are trying to break free. That's that amazing. One and that one. Yeah, those Is that two. Is a baby one? Um, oh, maybe. I don't know, I'm hoping for at least one silky. I want two silkies. <laughs> Gosh, we need to get a bigger cage. A bigger incubator? Oh, a bigger, yeah, a big, because bigger we're brooder. Because we get like more babies. Yeah, like, <laughs> what the heck? All right. I love it. So we're just getting ready to head out, and Sophie and I decided to check the chickens once more can take hours for them to hatch. But <laughs> this is what we saw. I don't know if you guys can see. You can kind of see. There's a glare. Yeah, there is. You see them? He's completely out of his shell, this oh, one. He's climbing on. I think I see another one. He's climbing on top of all the shells. This one over here it still just has that one pick, pip mark. I can't tell. In the back there, is that one that has is cracking open? I don't know. Let me look. I didn't that. All right, so we see three hatching, but look. Well, we see There's a hatches. heart on our incubator. Heart. So you guys know Gabby has to ride four times a week and we've been kind of struggling to get it all done during the week. So we've been having to go on weekends sometimes. But the craziest thing happened to me today. Sam had gone for coffee and I was sitting on the couch and I had my hair up, like I sleep with my hair up and I had my pajamas on and all of a sudden I heard somebody honking and I'm like, oh, what is that about? So I look out the window and there's a truck in our driveway honking its horn at me. That is what, like years ago, people used to come to your door and knock. But now people are trying to be like more respectful and they don't knock on the door. They just sit in your driveway and they honk their horn. <laughs> and that's what happens. I don't know if it's a country thing or that's cause they're lazy. what the heck it is. No, I don't think they're lazy. So I go to the door and I peep my head out the door and I say, hello? <laughs> because it's a man in a truck and I'm just like there by myself in my pajamas. And it's this really nice guy and he says, hi, I always come and get your horse poop every year. Is it okay if I come and get more? I'm like, do it. <laughs> We actually have a bunch of people who take our horse poop, like more than one, not just him. So he brings his tractor every year, twice a year usually, and he fills up his trailer and then he gets somebody to drive his truck home. But isn't that cool though? Like he comes and he gets our horse poo, gets rid of our pile. And when we first moved here, we had so much trouble trying to figure out what the heck to do with our horse poop. So we have him and then we have another guy who comes um, and he just like has a little car and he puts plastic in the bottom of his car and he comes and he gets it him and his wife and they dig through it and they get the stuff that they want for their garden and we let them because we're so grateful to have it gone but we really love this guy because he'll like leave his tractor here take that load home dump it come back and he'll take all of it so hopefully it's not the same guy with the big red truck though. maybe he got a different truck he says that he comes every year mm-hmm so yeah, I think there's another one too though. Yeah, so anyways, for any of you guys who've been following for a while, um, we have regulars now that come and get our horse poop and it's amazing. And one thing that I've noticed with horse people and farmers and um, locally anyways, one thing I've noticed is that horse people stick together. Like even though there's this big huge thing about pe horse people being crazy, like people 
who form like a community always stick together and so you like get to learn really quickly who you can trust and who like I, I try I've like spoken three words to that guy and I totally trust him isn't that so weird Sam knows him better than I do right so nice oh my gosh <laughs> knew I'd find you guys in here what the heck honestly see oh, this thing is gonna be that? the death of us what is that Gabby wakes up, gets dressed, comes to the barn, doesn't eat anything, and she's like, it's fine. I'll get snacks. Who? Who likes arrow? So there's a cookie. So that, that's cool. There's a cookie. Oh, that is cool. What do I want? I don't want that. It's frozen? So Gabby got a chocolate bar. It's kind of frozen. So anyway, we're here with this big handsome man that's doing amazing. And we're going to ride Finn him. Is Finn is dirty. Finn is a tomorrow project. Well, Hurry up, because I want to go home and see my chicks. What'd you I get? Another dollar because there's a chocolate one, so you can have this one, and I want the chocolate one. I do not want to pay give me one two dollars for a cookie. And horses are really eating up the carrots. Did you notice the bucket has been moved from there to here? Probably because they come through the door and try and grab them. So our barn is selling like a bunch of stuff. I think this is a wind tech. Is it a wind tech? Anyways, it is. I don't know. We're ready to hit the slopes. And by slopes, I mean we're ready to go outside and freeze our butt off because it's cold. This is what getting ready for a horse show season is all about freezing our butts off. Gabby has I mean, clearly moved into adulthood, though. Not adulthood, hood with no coat. Adulthood with a coat. I never wore coats. I know, and neither did Gabby. Who remembers? Who remembers? Gabby never wore coats. I don't like coats. And then. They're so big and puffy. Now she does. Gabby has like on a, a long sleeve shirt that's really warm, thick, and then a hoodie, and it's then a coat. That. All my shirts are thick. Oh. That's why I wear sweaters. Well, that's kind of it's thick for a shirt though. It's thick, but it's not warm. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go, sister. Let's ride so we can't ride no more. Look at that halter. It's adorable. Look at how cute this one is. That one's really tiny. There's a chubby boy if I ever saw one. We love you, Gino. It's okay to be chubby. Have a big butt. Gino's a little bit chubbier than we're used to and what I would want, but I love that he has like a little bit of weight because you guys know he can lose weight or gain weight so quickly. I panic when we have skinny horses. Like, I can't have a skinny horse. Because then I worry all the time. All the mares are like, whoa, look at that handsome man. They're all coming to the fence and they're all running around their paddock. Tonight we are running on the right track. I know we never gonna lose. Thumper. He finds us wherever we are. He finds us, makes our pants so dirty, and watches the show. You watching? by that her horse is not spooky because she does so 
He's not spooky. She does so much. Like she throws things at him, not hard things, like her gloves or like she's always testing him to make sure he doesn't spook. So he's like, he's so used to it. We're headed home now though because it is so cold. Holy heck, it's like winter again. We're home from the barn. It was so cold. Gabby really needed to ride two horses today but we only were able to ride one. We'll ride the other one tomorrow. We'll ride two tomorrow. I want to update you guys on our incubator. Before we left the barn, you guys saw that one chicken had hatched. And there it is, standing up there, ready to get out. Let me out, let me out! <laughs> uh, we have a new one pipping right here. It's got the little pip hole, you can see it. So we have that one. Oh, you can see the beak poking through, trying to get out, and then, the original one over here and then I think there's one back there that was trying to get out. This is actually the hardest part about um, hatching eggs is that you have to leave them uh, from the time the first one hatches until at least like 48 hours and give them a chance to all hatch. And then ones that got stuck, there's like a whole process you have to go through to unstick them and to hatch them. And it is hard as heck and I hate having to do it. I did dream that I was going to have to do it. I dreamed three chicks hatch and that I'm going to have to help. And I don't like doing that though. Yeah, this little chicken that's here is so funny. I'm like, help him out, get him out. Oh look, he's picking the eggs himself. Um, anyways, he follows us around. Like when we open the incubator, the styrofoam stuff styrofoam stuff he follows our voice he comes right to oh look he's like pecking his brother stop doing that what is he doing <laughs> did you see that one little pecked back <laughs> so he's been in there all day he's nice and dry he wants to come out yeah is it his tooth they have like a little tooth no it's a beak so <laughs> So cute. I need to figure out a name for him. There's actually four. There's one, two, three left that are all pipping, but they haven't done anything yet. Guys, we're just awful. Just peeking. You see this guy's just coming out. He got his wing out already. See him? <laughs> his leg. He's like, hi everybody. <laughs> I'm five. Like, he's so crammed in there because the eggs are all in the way. But he, it's adorable. That's the second one out today oh, so far. I wish we could grab somebody. I know. I wish we could like <laughs> help. Us. This little guy follows us wherever we go. He just looks for us. <laughs> follows us. He's wreaking havoc in that in there. Oh, he's out. Oh. This way, he's gonna get his he's head out. Egg fell on him. Yeah. It's the same color as that one. I really hope we get one of the little guys. Look, I love how like it's brownie orange on his head. Yeah. He wants so, so badly. the dark ones with the dark head are usually boys. Did it say that? Did we read that? You're a cutie pie. So there we go. Two. Oops. Two babies. Two hatched. I know it's really hard to see, and I'm sorry for that. It's hard this for us right to see in there too. Definitely hatch, and then one over there. Maybe. All right, so that we got about five trying to hatch. I didn't even notice that one. Don't you know that